charge back back Johnny Depp's genius sisters use him like a lab rat Johnny Depp The main freak dad at home is super busy mom Johnny Depp The boy's best friend is a talking dog That's right Three extreme jeans and an air-breathing shark Mega action game control skating in the park A feral booster bling bling What do we make of this? Johnny Test. What do we think of the Johnny Test? Johnny Test. This is a laugh of a boy named Johnny Test. I am so tired of the same old thing. But this is a new experiment. And don't think you're getting out of this scot-free, mister. From now on, this is just as much your fault as it is your sister's. You're 11 years old, and you can say no to an experiment. So from now on, if there's any transformations in this house, you are going to be held accountable and punished. Now, your father and I are going out for the first time in 11 years, and we feel we can leave you kids alone for the three hours it will take for your father and I to have a bite and see a sappy girly movie your father will hate. I want no trouble, because for once, once, I'd like to spend an afternoon with a woman I love, no matter how bad the girly movie will be. No trouble! We'll be back at 5 p.m. Awesome! A day with no parents! And I got the whole afternoon plan. Movies you're not old enough to see, two liters of root beer, each, and sausages! Tons of sausages! Speed McCool and if you're 11, you shouldn't be watching this. I love you, man. Okay, Psycho Sisters, if you need me, I'll be with the... Hey, where did they go? Oh, look at the cute baby twins. <laughs> baby twins! <laughs> Don't say anything or we will ban you from the lab for life. Mom and Dad will be home at 5, so place us in the baby transformer at 4.55 and press the activation code 4321, then hit undo. This is so uncool! Oh, what now? Hey, congrats, Johnny Bro, on your family's new blessings. Skill, I don't understand. <laughs> your new baby sisters. That's why I'm here. I just started a babysitting service. <laughs> okay, now I understand. <laughs> hey, I think they like me. Oh, you have no idea. <laughs> Ooh, a violent speed McCool movie. You shouldn't be watching this, Johnny. <laughs> Somebody's cranky. Here, babies, you play with these plastic bags while Gil checks what's in the fridge. A cute cute cute. Did he just give babies plastic bags to play with? Give me those! Johnny bro, do you mind watching your little sisters in case they need a change? A change? Oh, I'll give them a change. I'm gonna change them back to my evil sisters because they will not ruin my No Parents Night Party Super Jam. The code's not working. <laughs> Why isn't the code working? Johnny, we know you will try and change us, but the code only works at 455. Now put us in Gil's arms, dork, or no lab favors, ever. Fine. You want Gil? You can have Gil. Johnny, I hope you don't mind, but I whipped up some piping hot chili. I can't watch. I gotta go, too. Bye. You know, there's a good chance Gil will maim your sisters for life. Hey, this is what they wanted. Who am I not to grant their wishes? Their brother, who is supposed to love and protect them. No, I'm the brother who loves No Parent Root Beer Super Game Fest Monster Jam. Now let's party. Shoot me all the looks you want, dog. I'm not going down there. Are you nuts? 
Babies like chili, right? No, chili is bad for babies. They need strained crud. So mash up some carrots with olive oil and create a nice baby mush. Wow, thanks, Johnny. You are one smart and cool big bro ham. Huh, maybe I am. Now, feed them, burp them, and get them to bed while I finally celebrate no parent root beer goof off a palooza! Root beer in movies we're not supposed to be watching is like so great and... Uh-oh. What? <laughs> Johnny! Johnny, the babies! They smell really, really bad! And that's why you need to change their diapers. Oh, I can't do that. What? It's your job. It's what you're getting paid for. Now get in there and show the world that you are the greatest babysitter ever. You're right, Johnny. I gotta believe I'm going in. Gil fainted. What are we gonna do? You gotta change them. What? Why me? Because you're a dog. What's that got to do with anything? Because I'm a boy. A boy who could be scarred for life and resist ever having a family of his own if he suffers this kind of trauma at an early, impressionable age. We'll do it together. Hey, I just woke up and the babies don't smell anymore. Okay, babies, now it's time to play Jumpy Wumpy on the convertible Couchy Wouchy. We can't be serious. That's it. I'm cracking the code and changing them back right now. And I have no idea how to crack the code. It's Johnny. Yeah. Hey, Susan told me she wants to go on a date with you. <laughs> Did you say Susan wants to go on a date with me? <laughs> Is that what I said? Well, what I meant was, Susan and Mary are babies and I need you to crack a computer code. That was a dirty trick, Johnny Test. But a good one. Why should I help? You get to hold Susan and for the first time, she won't slap you. Oh, look. I'm holding Susan and she's not resisting me. <laughs> Oh, baby Susan, not even your spit-up can drive me away. Huh. Huh? Uh, where's Mary? Gil, please tell me you saw a little baby with a moon barrette in her hair recently. I did, I did see a baby with a moon barrette. She just crawled out the front door. Huh? You are the worst babysitter ever! I know, I'm not sure I'm cut out for this job. Flip a coin? Yeah. Heads! I hate flippy coins! <laughs> I'm gonna make it! Gotcha! Why are you not in the lab cracking the code so I can get my sisters back to normal? I came to tell you I can't crack the code. Oh, and Susan's on the roof. <laughs> Hello. Hi, sweetheart. Just letting you know the movie was so girly, it made your dad throw up. Shoes. Shoes and ex-boyfriends everywhere. So we're coming home, and I don't want anything else upsetting him. So please have things tidy when we get home in about 10 minutes. You bet, Mom. Love ya. Ah, my mom and dad are coming home early. Oh, dude. Ear toes. Ah! <laughs> Hey, check out the roof, baby. You can do this, Test. You changed the poopy diaper today. You can get up on that roof and save your sister. Ah, here you go. It's a pocket rocket. I invented it this morning. No, wait, I don't want to... Johnny bro, you okay? Speak to me. Again, you are the worst babysitter ever. And this is so not fair. You ruined my no-parent Super Jam party fest, and now I'm gonna get in trouble because you're transformed and Dad said no transformations! See? I told you babies like chili. Wait, they're not eating it. They're trying to send a message. Oh, 
It's numbers. No, it's a new code to unlock the baby transformer before 455. <laughs> Hurry, we don't have much time. Gotten and... I forgive you. And here's your next history paper. It's on the fall of Rome. I forgive you too. <laughs> but mom and dad are home. And look! Oh, you guys have got to try this chili. Hmm. Johnny, have an idea. <laughs> I gotta move fast! No explosions. She said I love you over and over and. Thanks, kids. After a horrifying movie like that, it's nice to come home to a beautiful, clean house. And it's obvious you're all responsible enough to be left alone from now on. Oh, great job, kids. Ooh, is that Speed McCool? Oh, a manly movie with violence and no issues with his mother. I have to watch it! <laughs> Uh, why, uh, good evening, Mrs. Test. And congrats on your new baby girls. New baby girls? Oh, so, so close. close. Ow. Oh. Ow. 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 Bored? There's nothing to do. I'm dying. Inside. You could read the paper. Nah, too reedy. We could play some sort of sporty thing with a ball that bounces. Too exercisey. How about teleporting? Teleporting is fun. To the lab! Teleporting? Forget it. We are not gonna fire the transparticalizer just because you guys are bored. But you can help us test our latest advance in the lab. Oh, I don't like the look of that. You're not gonna give up, are ya? No! How about a nice cheap camping vacation? I hate camping. How about a nice expensive Hawaiian vacation? I hate expensive! All I want is fun! But they test slidey thingy. Oh! oh, oh, oh. Face my wrath, sisters! I'm sure he's fine. They wanna play rough? Well, Johnny can play rough too. What's that? Let's just say it's a plan I've been working on for a long time, and the time to use it is now. You're kind of freaking me out, dude. <laughs> Listen up. I want access to the transparticalizer, or I'll use this. I mean it! What is that? Water and green food coloring? <laughs> I broke into the lab last week and mixed a bunch of stuff together from the unstable cabinets. What? Johnny, are you crazy? Yes. Quizzy says, I've never seen him like this. He's lost his mind. Take the keys. Just leave the unstable mixture behind. <laughs> never underestimate the desperation of a bored 11-year-old boy. Now, transporting powers, go! Oh, I am so not bored anymore. By the way, what was in that bottle? <laughs> Analysis complete. Water and green food dye. He tricked us. Okay, let's start plotting our revenge, shall we? You're not wearing an all-day wristband, and I'm pretty sure that is a dog. So, security! Hey, you! Get your hands up! Uh-huh. You got it, no problem. And then I put him down and... Transport! Ah! Uh, I'm gonna pretend I never saw that. Yeah, me too. The arcade! Nice. And check this out! <laughs> All day game access card. I love you. <laughs> and I love transporting. And 
I love my sisters for falling for my stupid plan. You're done! What Johnny doesn't realize is that when he transports, his broken down molecules are filtered through the transparticalizer's main frame. Which means if we reconfigure it, i.e. mess with the sensors, we can send Johnny to less desirable destinations. Thus, teaching him the dangers of transporting and more importantly, the dangers of tricking us. Now, this might spark a bit. What is going on? Listening to rock music? We're trying to plan a vacation here and... Where's Johnny? Did you do something with Johnny? Uh, did you say vacation? Where are we going uh, on vacation? We can't decide. I suggested an economical at-home vacation full of puzzles, barbecues, and movies. And I suggested a tropical island that is not lame like an at-home vacation. A tropical island? Do you plan on robbing a bank? Girls, you might want to leave. This is about to get ugly. Ah! Nice redirect with the vacation inquiry. And kudos with the rock music lie. Thanks. Now let's destroy Johnny. Rerouting Johnny and Dookie's next transporting location. Done. Now let's see how Johnny likes train trestles. <laughs> Okay, that laugh is getting way too creepy. Yeah, I got carried away, didn't I? <laughs> Where to next? Um, I always wanted to go to Russia and check out that building with the swirly tops. Then transport we will go, my hairy friend. <laughs> hey, this isn't the Kremlin. Hmm? No, it's a train bridge, and here comes a train! Ah! Transport! Transport! We're in the zoo. Yeah, but why are those people behind the cage? They're not. We're in the cage! I bet my sisters are behind this. Run! I told you transporting was a bad idea. No, you didn't. Well, I'm telling you now! Just transport out! <laughs> Let's send Johnny someplace super exciting that he will totally love. You mean like a woman's clothing store? I'm thinking boring art museum. Oh, you are so wicked. Thanks. <laughs> Where are we? I can't look. I think it's that Frenchy museum I learned about in art class. And oh, my boring ache is acting up again. We're at the Louvre? Awesome. We're safe. We're safe. <laughs> Aidez-nous, s'il vous plaît. Uh, say what? Uh, he says he needs help. Hey, isn't that painting famous? Oh, no. We're helping steal priceless art! That's bad, right? <laughs> really bad. work. It is believed this boy and this kid with a rare hair disorder were the lookouts in the heist of the world's most priceless art. If anyone knows the identity of these two dangerous master criminal fugitives, please contact the police. Oh, this is so not good. Mom and Dad are surfing the web and they'll see the news alert. Move out! I want to go to a tropical island. I want to stay here and save money. Is, is that, that Johnny, Johnny on the, the computer? computer? The computer is broken! We'll take it upstairs to fix it! Did I just see Johnny on the computer? No! Uh-oh. Johnny is on the computer! And if Johnny's home, won't that lead the manhunt home too? Manhunt? Did you say manhunt? This is the FBI. We want the kid. This is their fault. Our fault? You're the one who blackmailed us to give me the technology. Who lets an 11-year-old transparticalize? They're crazy. Are you kidding me? Blah, 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 blah. Oh, and oh, my boring ache is acting up again. Well, at least we know where we're going to spend our vacation. In jail. 
Girls, do something! You're geniuses! Uh, we got nothing. But I do. To the lab! <laughs> to a deserted island. What? That will never work! This, this is, is your last, last chance, chance, and don't, don't try to do anything dangerous. dangerous. We're gonna try something dangerous. Hurry up! Move! We don't have much time! They're coming! <clears throat> Cross your fingers! Oh, what are you doing? That doesn't look safe! Fool me! You kids are all in a lot of trouble. We, we know! know. <laughs> I'm gonna pretend I didn't see that. Yeah, me, me too. too. <laughs> Don't worry, Mom and Dad. We'll write a virus program that will wipe Johnny from all the world's computer memory banks and delete the footage of Johnny and Dookie on the security tapes, thus freeing them from any wrongdoing in the art heist. But it will take about three days. Huh? Uh, they left about two minutes ago. Three days? You better make it a week. And we're not gonna punish you this time. <sighs> we think you learned your lesson about the dangers of teleporting. And that lesson is, if we ever get in trouble, just transport mom and dad to a free private island vacation paradise. Yeah! yeah this is gonna nice be an job, awesome vacation. I need a new bike. What happened to your old bike? Huh? First, we test the jump with these look-alike dummies. Then, calculate the speed and trajectory we'll need to make the jump for real. It's genius! <laughs> uh, it got stolen? Hmm. Why, Dad? Why did it have to get stolen? I'll get you a new bike. Birthday, which is seven months away. You don't love me! I do love you, son, and I will always love and accept you for who you are your entire life. I don't know what that means. It means you're not getting a new bike until your birthday. Darn it! Hi, Mr. Test. Would you like to buy some Ladybird Scout cookies? No, because I believe the Ladybird Scouts have lost their way and have become nothing but a door-to-door -door cookie company using free labor. And although I like you, sissy, I can no longer buy these cookies. Your dad is weird. Yeah, I know. You look dumb. Do you want to buy some cookies, Test? Oh, wow, Ladybird Scout cookies. They look so good and... No. Ow! I mean, give me a box of Wow Wow Chocolate Chunkies. Ow! Coconut Dribblers? Hmm. Lemon Buckwalt? Butterscotch Blah Blahs? Yes! Only 999 boxes to go! To go for what? When you sell Ladybird Scout cookies, you can win prizes like backpacks, pen sets, and if you sell a thousand boxes, you get a new bike! <coughs> Stop! Sit! Good boy! What do you want this time, little brother? A larynx transplant so you can sing like a rock star? Or a DNA adjustment that will make your tongue taste like bubblegum? No, we need your old Ladybird Scout uniforms. That's a new one. <laughs> now all we gotta do is sell 1,000 boxes of this crud and zoom! We're in brand new Bike City! And here comes our first customer! <laughs> What's a scam? I need a new bike, and you're gonna help me by buying cookies. Cat, I'm currently on a strict get a hot bod regimen. You see, I wanna look good for your sister. But look, Banana Dennis, you can't resist. Oh. No, I'm a healthy person who shuns sweets and worships sweating. <laughs> What do you think you're doing? Selling cookies for the Ladybird Scouts, which I am a proud member. But you're a boy! Which means you should not forget the Ladybird Scout creed of accepting all recruits regardless of race, creed, and because of some kid in 1992, boyness. What? This 
This town isn't big enough for the both of us, Test. And there's no way you're outselling me. Ugh. Okay, let's go find some cookie lovers and get that bike. Hi, would you like to buy some ladybirds? Hi, my name is Johnette, and... Get out of my face! Let me just say... I hate being a ladybird scout! But they do awesome stuff, Johnny, like raise environmental awareness and organize park cleanups. And get me a bike if I could only sell these dumb cookies! Ooh, why, I'll take ten boxes. I can't resist such a cute and charming young ladybird scout. <gasps> hey, I'm cute and charming and... Whoa! Now go to your quiet place. We need to borrow your makeup and hair care products and ooh, I like this color. Mm. How do I look? Susan Test! You cannot resist the new slimmer bling bling boy! You look the same. What? No way! I've been sweating all day for you, my sweet Susan. Hey, watch with the T-Rex. I'll show you. Sick of Wentworth. <laughs> you will be mine, Susan Test! And we're gorgeous. <laughs> Weird day. Oh, yeah. Hi, I'm... Gorgeous, I know. Wait here. Will you go out with me and my dog? Ew. Okay, this plan is clearly backfired. Run! No! Ride! Ah! You can't escape our love dream, girls! We will find you! <sighs> I think we lost him in almost empty wagon! I just have 27 more boxes to sell, and that sweet bike is mine! Ha! Hey, did you know the Ladybird Scouts were formed to teach girls empowerment and leadership? Just skip to the part where it tells you how to sell these super extra lame cookies. Jonathan, check out my plan B. I hired Gil to be my personal hot bod coach. Johnny, you're different, bro. Did you get a haircut or something? I'm a girl. <laughs> no, that's not it. Yeah, Gil is gonna mold me in his hot image. Oh, and I see you still haven't sold a box of cookies. I know that! I'll buy a box, Johnny. I hate those cookies, but I love you, Broham. Later's Johnny, whose new look I still can't figure out. <laughs> Wait, that's it. The secret of selling this crud is not to people who love cookies. It's to sell cookies to people who love you. Quick, we need some cool cookie selling music. Huh? Nah, too rock and rolly. Something light and peppy. Right, my bad. Johnny Test, is that you behind that earthly female disguise? I'm selling Ladybird Scout cookies to get a new bike. Well, forget it! Thanks to you, I'm trapped on this wretched planet, light years from my real home. And worse, I don't have Doom Troopers to take this world over. And... Blah, 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 I'm not selling to you. I want Jillian. I'll buy some cookies, Johnny. Give me five boxes of Labradoodles. Thanks! Wait! Are those organic salmon chuck -lucks? Made with zero animal products. Give me ten boxes. But I will destroy you someday! Quick! How many more boxes do we have to sell to get that bike? Uh, 35, 36, 37! And how many people are left in town that love me? Uh, nobody. Everybody else pretty much hates you. Darn it! I only have one box to sell, and that bike is mine! But there's nobody left in town to sell to! But there's nobody left for you either, so ha! Wrong again. I just have to get somebody to change his mind about the wonderment of Ladybird Scout cookies, and I know how. Why are 
were you a Lady Bird Scout, son? Well, at first I did it to sell cookies to win a bike, but now I think I really like it. And I like makeup and skirts and feeling pretty. You don't say. Is there a problem with that? You said you'd love me and accept me no matter what, right? I did, Johnny, and I do. I love you just the way you are. I'll take off the skirt and makeup if you buy 37 boxes of shortbread. I don't care. Who do I make the checkout to? Awesome! But I just have to keep this stuff on until I hand in my sales sheet to get my bike. As long as you're wearing pants by dinner. Yes! We're getting a new bike! <laughs> and look who still can't sell her last box. I guess you don't have what it takes to sell cookies, sissy. You mean selfishness? Say what? I was trying to sell a thousand boxes so I could donate the bike to a program that gives bikes to kids that don't have them. That's what a true Ladybird Scout would do. Okay, if you're trying to make me feel low, it worked. You were never a true Ladybird Scout, Johnny Test. And why can't I sell this last box? Whoa! <laughs> okay. How much weight have I lost? Scale! Scale! Awesome! You lost half a pound! A half pound? I've changed my mind! I'm a round person who shuns exercise and worships caramel yum yum dum dums! Yes! I sold the last box! Oh, that is good! You see, these are so hard to come by where I live, you know? Wait! Are you saying Ladybird Scouts never knocked on your door? Um, hello? I live on an evil island 30 miles off the coast with a live fake volcano and a voracious and terrifying mother. What Ladybird Scout would be brave enough to sell cookies there? That's it! Lower it down! Keep it coming! There you go, Eugene's mom! 20,000 boxes of Ladybird Scout cookies! And here you go, Johnny Test! You know, you're an okay boy, Test. And maybe even a better Ladybird Scout. I have to admit, it does feel really good. You mean helping kids get bikes who never had them? That and the skirt. I feel so free. We are looking for a fossil or skeletal artifact from pre-Cambrian times. <sighs> Professor, it's 110 degrees out. I think this project will be better off postponed to after graduation in three years. We will all stay here as long as it takes and come back tomorrow if necessary. Now keep digging. <sighs> <sighs> Can't go back to desert. So hot. And tired. That's why we're going back in time, finding a three-toed sloth bone, then plant it tomorrow in the desert, pretend to discover it. Then we can all go back to our air-conditioned classroom and not sweat and die in the heat! We're such geniuses. <laughs> get the bone for us. Okay, in exchange for one three-toed sloth bone, you two will do my client's math homework for three weeks, he gets use of the submarine base, and 25 wads of bubble gum. What? That is highway robbery! Dookie, what's the weather forecast in the desert tomorrow? Well, mostly sunny, a high of 115 degrees with a 20% chance of death. It's a deal. Great, but I still can't go. What? I just remembered. I'm grounded. What did you do this time? Nothing. Dad totally overreacted. How much for these golf clubs, this lawnmower barely used, and this platinum wedding band? You do realize you're insane. Hey, if he wants his ring so bad, don't leave it by the sink, right? We'll take care of Dad. After all, it's time travel. If we get in trouble, we'll just go back in time to before we got caught. Works for me, so let's do this. Get in here. No way! It's time travel, Johnny. And worse, it's your sister's time travel machine. And something always goes wrong. So doggy, sit and stay. Nothing's gonna go wrong, you big baby. And Johnny Tess will prove it. Now stand back and watch a pro go back in time and bring back a slop bone for my sisters. Oh, 
I'll take that bone and get out of here! But Johnny's a caveman! Yeah, that is a problem. And Dad's gonna kill us for turning Johnny into a caveman, then he's gonna kill Johnny for blowing up his grounding. Okay, everybody calm down. Mary, you stay here and try and figure out what created Cave Johnny. I'll stall Dad. And Dookie, don't let Cave Johnny out of your sight. Got it. Where did he go? <laughs> <laughs> Huh? Man, it's bright in here. Too much light can be bad for you, Dad. Remember, I'm a genius. Uh, okay. Come on, that's a good cave, Johnny. Let's go back inside. Ah! Uh, I mean, I just saw Johnny upstairs in his room, Dad, grounded and not outside and not a caveman. Well, he acts like one sometimes, and that's why the only place he is going today is the dinner table. In fact, maybe I'll remind him again what a bad boy he was. Ah! I'll do it, Dad. You're way busy right now cooking uh, that thing. What is that? It is called a casserole. You and your sister are the only ones who experiment around here. <laughs> that's funny, Dad. And when is dinner again? I want to warn Johnny to be right on time. In... 30 minutes. We've got 30 minutes! And I've got Cave Johnny! I lured him with steak. And I figured out the problem. The sloth bone that Johnny brought back had caveman saliva on it. So when the tea house time machine crossed through the particle reconfiguration, it cross-contaminated Johnny's DNA and devolved him into a caveman. The blah, 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 blah. How do we get Johnny back? We just reversed the process by sending Johnny back with modern DNA contained in his chewing gum, then revolve him to his normal state before dinner. <laughs> dinner time machine is destroyed! Oh, by the way, when he finishes food, he likes to bash things. <laughs> I'll never get the tea house fixed by dinner. And when Dad sees Cave Johnny, we're dead! Dead! <laughs> then say hello to the hot bun pod. will adjust Johnny's appearance so he'll look exactly like normal Johnny. Look, it's normal Johnny! <laughs> of course he looks normal, but mentally he's still a caveman. Yeah, so that was a great idea. You're so smart, you fit the situation. Uh, why don't you both just stop using your brother as a guinea pig? <laughs> you wanna go, Fuzzball? <laughs> Wait. Where's Johnny? Ham. I'm definitely getting a ham smell, I think. Huh? Did you hear something? Well, just my stomach grumbling. I can't wait to eat dinner. It smells so... much. Does it smell like ham? Because, you know, I've never cooked a casserole before. I'm a bit nervous. Ham? Yeah, ham. Or diapers. Like a diaper with ham. I'll be in the yard if you need me. He clubbed me, then headed east. <laughs> <laughs> well, 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 if it isn't Johnny, test. Bleh. Hey, guys, let's egg test. <laughs> Did I say egg test? <laughs> what I meant to say was have a great day, test, and why don't you come over and play sometime? <laughs> okay, so call me. Hey, test. I said, hi, Test. What, you're not talking to me, is that it? Uh, Even if you don't like me, it doesn't mean you have to be rude. Uh, huh? Uh, Does that mean you like me? The bases are loaded. There are two outs, and the Mark Belly Ham Hawks are down by three. It's going to take a miracle to win this game. You're up! Uh, Pounded into the sidewalk. Sissy in love. 
T-shirts. Get your mystery baseball hero T-shirts. Johnny on a souvenir baseball shirt. He's got to be nearby. <laughs> but where? And dinner's in five minutes. Well, aren't you doing a report on this stuff? And what do cavemen like? What is their migration pattern? You are a fraud. Did that dog just talk? No. And cavemen were hunters and gatherers who had a quest for fire. <laughs> <laughs> Here, Cave Johnny, that's a good boy. Get the fire. Just get him upstairs, hope the time machine is fixed, and have him back before. Dinner time! So, how do you feel after learning your lesson, son? Well, you'll feel a lot better after you try some of my casserole. What's going on? It's dinner time, and Dad just led Johnny to the kitchen, and it'll take another Johnny miracle to get out of this one. <sighs> Sorry, I couldn't help myself. It's what I do for a living. I must say I like my well-behaved boy, and I hope you like my casserole thing that's not meatloaf. <laughs> well, why don't you try it first? Does it smell like ham? What's with the hockey masks? Dad, it's not what you think! I think he's having an allergic reaction to this horrible meal I prepared! I'm a failure! Yep, that's what it is! I knew I should stick to meatloaf! <laughs> I deserve that, and I'll make it up to you, son! I'll get some takeout! Who wants burgers? Burgers for everyone! Johnny has saved the day again! He's amazing, folks! Are you done? Uh, no. Can the test girls get Johnny back together and end this exciting episode? Easy. Just add one little brother and one wad of pre-chewed gum into the time machine and send them back in time. Three, two, one... Johnny? <gasps> That's for not coming with me. I told you nothing bad was gonna happen. In an earlier experiment on Johnny Test, Johnny and Dookie were rocketed into space to find life. Once there, they landed on Vigandin and met Dark Vegan, the leader of a clan who ate only vegetables. But soon, Johnny discovered Vigandin's secret, that they live in paradise because they suck all the resources of other planets, eventually destroying them. So with the Earth under attack, Johnny, with the help of Dark Vegan's rebellious daughter, Jillian, stopped the invasion and restored all the water and trees to Earth. And now, without an army or a ship, Dark Vegan is stranded on Earth and totally hates Johnny. Jillian still likes Johnny, though. It's called rock and roll. It's better when it's loud, but that's when parents start to hate it. Let's try it. Sitting noise down! It's called rock and roll. We never had it on Ugandan. I like it. Well, I despise it. And I despise you, Jolly Test, and I will destroy you. No, no one late for work. Darn it! So, how's your dad doing with the, you know, adjustment? <laughs> He's having a really hard time keeping an Earth job. Can we get some more water? No. Hey, park this for me, will you, pal? <laughs> this is not the correct change. I don't understand your Earth money. Just be happy I let you live. I'm fired, right? You! You did this to me! I was the ruler of my planet! And now I'm an unemployable loser! Honey, 
You have to try this new earthly recipe. It's called toast. No. Oh, and I went to an amusement park today, and you know what? I was really amused. Mm. I told you Earth was cool. Earth is so not cool! You destroyed my life, Johnny Test. <laughs> and I promise I will destroy you. <laughs> <laughs> a penguin. A lion. A vulture. I'm through playing games, Johnny Test. A billy goat. Bingo! Sorry about my dad, Johnny. He really hasn't been himself since you defeated him, and he can't get us home to Vigandon. Don't sweat it. Pick him up! You are too mighty an opponent, Johnny Test! I just miss being an evil ruler on my whole planet so much, and I just... <laughs> oh, man, he's crying. <laughs> well, I guess I'm just homesick, and it's really hard adapting to a new planet, and... What is this called again? Um, toast? It's good. Really good. Okay, well, Dookie and I talked about it and decided we want to help you out. Yes, of course. We will join forces, Johnny. And with our powers united, we will rule the galaxy. No, Dad. That's not it. We'll help you get home. But you got to promise not to come back to Earth and try to destroy it. Or destroy any other planets in the galaxy. What? Forget it! Fine. Here are the want ads. <laughs> This is a great deal, huh? I don't know. I was kind of thinking about getting something smaller. You want smaller? Fine. How's this? <laughs> ah, this guy is nuts! I'm fired, right? <laughs> okay. I'll stop destroying planets if you help me get back to Vigandon. Deal. And, uh, do you have any more of those warm, crispy slices of carbohydrates? You mean toast. Toast, yes. I like toast. No, you can't borrow the spaceship. One, because you'll just destroy it. And two, we are working on a new invention that will surely get Bill next door over for tea. Well, what's the invention? We haven't thought of one yet. Don't worry, they always say no at first. Then we wear them down and they do whatever we want. <laughs> do you choke them? No, I schmooze them. Wow, this looks really nice. And I love you guys so much. Forget it, Johnny. Actually... Enough schmoozing! <gasps> Daddy, stop! Now, give me the keys to the spaceship or I will destroy you and... <laughs> I wasn't done schmoozing. The only way we're gonna get you home is with the girl's ship. I will not go up against your sisters. They scare me. Uh, what, what is this? It's jelly. It makes toast even tastier. That's not possible. Uh, it is, Dookie! Oh, I have never enjoyed such a confection. Yeah, blah, 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 enough with the toast. Now, we're gonna need to sneak into the lab and steal the spaceship. It's not gonna be easy, but it's our only hope. Right, but we'll need a plan. A really good plan. Run for it! <laughs> <laughs> I told you not to go up against your sisters. We are here for the Environmental Protection Agency. And we understand you have a spaceship we need to inspect? Sure, it's right over there. Was never really good at that. You're telling us this now? I'm out of ideas. And worse, we're out of toast. Get me some more! 
We're out of bread. What's bread? Bread is what goes in the toaster that cooks the bread to make toast. Fascinating! And how do you get more of this bread? Uh, my dad buys it? Yes, and I'm not getting any more because you guys have already gone through three loaves! I will get you some more bread. I'll get you some more bread. I will go to the store right now. I'll go to the store right now. How did you do that? That's an old vegan mind trick. Why didn't you use it on Johnny's sisters? It only works on dumb people. Oh, I know how to get that ship. What about just tying Gil up and dragging him here? It's good, but if we let him go, we could get arrested. Right. Okay, I am done messing around with Johnny and Dork Vegan. You get the door, I'll get the lever. You're never getting the ship, Johnny! And you next door! Why, I'd love to have tea with you, Susan and Mary. Why, I'd love to have tea with you, Susan and Mary. Hold my hands and let us dine on tea and Goofy Triangle Sandwiches. Hold my hands and let us dine on tea and Goofy Triangle Sandwiches. Oh, yeah. We need the keys to the... Yes! We're going home! Dear Vigandans, I have returned once again to be your leader. But I liked it on Earth. I already miss Johnny and rock music and video games and... Silence! Now! Let us celebrate with an amazing Vigandan feast! Uh, where's the toast? I want toast! There's no toast on Vigandan, sir. But why not? Uh, the crunchy earth delicacy you described <laughs> cannot be created because Vigandan lacks uh, bread. And we haven't invented the toaster. No! Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. We're back! What? We worked our butts off to get you guys back to your planet. Yeah, but there's no toast there. You came back for toast? Yes! <laughs> <laughs> With jelly! Personally, I'm glad we're back. Well, now that I'm staying, my earlier agreement is void, and I promise to destroy Earth and you, Johnny Test! You might want to run, Johnny. Way ahead of you. Toast! Toast! I like toast. homework assignment is... Five pages of fractions in your math book, find a wild fern and examples of Sporozoa, write down 20 new vocabulary words and use them in a sentence, and pick a short story, read it, and write a report on it. Hi, son. Hey, what do you think about having a family night tonight? We thought we'd do a puzzle or make some popcorn. And... It's too much homework! This is my childhood. Life isn't supposed to stink like this until I'm 35 and realize I'm working for the man. Well, if you stop complaining and start focusing, you can get the work done and still have time to goof around. Like helping me Todd, Mrs. Magikowski's cat. <laughs> buddy or a clone or something that'll do my homework. It's too much. Help me. Help me. <gasps> Perfect timing, baby brother. Say hello to our homework assignment. An artificial intelligence droid able to do random tasks around the house like lighthouse work, bookkeeping, and helping out little brothers with homework overload. <laughs> it's beautiful. Wait, you're just gonna give Johnny a homework robot? There's no catch? Well, exposure to the Homework Buddy's high-powered lithium oxide batteries could cause brain damage, bone softening, and a condition known as cow tongue. So we'll monitor Johnny's vital signs daily. I can live with that. Who's up for a family night? Girls, I can finally teach you how to sew. And I can make some popcorn! Sorry, but we really have to test this robot on Johnny for school. And I'm still not done with my homework. Oh, well, 
okay. Oh. Maybe tomorrow. Now, let's test this puppy out. Homework, buddy? I need a fern with spores on it. Oh, this is gonna be good. Okay, class, let's have last night's homework. Or let's hear the excuses you have for not doing it. Johnny? Here you go, Mr. Teacher Man. All my homework finished and in alphabetical order. Don't eat that, okay? I love homework! And you'll also love family night. We're gonna hit the zoo before it closes, then... Sorry, I have a lot of homework. In fact, I'm gonna be busy all night. Oh, okay. We'll just watch TV. Hey, homework buddy. I have to make a scale volcano model. Go nuts! Johnny, check it. A pulley system that dumps water in more concentrated doses on Mrs. Magikowski's cats. Hey, Mrs. Magikowski lives alone and is old and brings us cookies sometimes. Yeah, but her cats are young and one scratched me yesterday. Fire away. <laughs> <laughs> awesome! How does it work? more homework that's due. I, uh, am supposed to make some cookies, eat them, then write down how I feel about them. You don't really need to make cookies, do you? No. But yum! <laughs> hey, how did he do that so fast? Just stay tight, little brother, as we perform some tests on you. Ah! There seems to be no extra radiation in the system. His vitals are normal, but his brainwave activity is very low. Which is normal for little brothers. And where'd you get the cookies? Uh, found them. He's lying. Johnny, we gave you the homework, buddy, to test for homework only. Not for your own personal gain. And I would never dream of using him for my own personal gain. Never. Never. <laughs> Whoa! What was today's homework assignment? Uh, get some giant plasma TVs and play video games to test how long you can play until your eyes fall out. And see if it's possible to cook sausages in a hot tub while your private petting zoo is nearby. Sounds good to me! <laughs> More homework cookies, my fuzzy buddy? Why, of course. <laughs> so, where did the homework buddy get all this stuff? I don't know. He must make them. He makes a plasma TV? Well, where else does he get this stuff? He doesn't have any money and... Uh-oh. Homework buddy. I need more cookies to analyze for social studies. I thought those cookies tasted familiar. He's not a homework buddy. He's a homework burglar! This is Hank Anchorman reporting that some kind of rogue alien robot is terrorizing the city. Stealing high-end electronics, deli sausages, old lady cookies, and zoo animals. Oh, we're dead. Okay, Johnny, time for your... Too much, right? You're insane! And we've got to get rid of this stuff before the police find out or worse. Mom and Dad! If anyone has seen this robot or knows anyone who might use it for evil, please contact the police. Please tell us that that is not the robot we just saw in the news. You're not telling us! Dad, the explanation is very simple. This is all Johnny's fault. My fault? I didn't build the kleptobot. You did! It's all your fault! Yeah, but don't count yourself out, Dad. You're supposed to raise us to be responsible. And you didn't do a great job now, did you? He's right. It's not my fault. It's... it's... Your fault! My fault? If you weren't traveling all the time, I might have more time to spend with the kids and teach them not to build a shoplifting robot! Well, I've been trying to be a family for the past two nights, but everyone is too busy to have a family night! Okay, it's all our fault. But we are a family. And we're gonna fix this as a family, right? Right! Now, can we destroy the robot, thus destroying any link we have to it? If the 
lithium oxide batteries are taken apart, they could contaminate the air, killing us all. Okay, so destroying the crazy stealing robot is out. But it's not considered stealing if everything is returned, right? Right! We'll get rid of all the evidence by returning the evidence. I'll gather up some black clothing for everyone. I'll collect all the things that need to be returned. And I'll drive the girl's hydraulic flatbed truck around front. <laughs> we, we don't, don't want to know. know. Just move! Turn the TVs! Excuse me, I'm looking for a TV. Oh, well, here at TV Shitty, most of our models have been stolen, but let's look at what's left. Hey, the TVs are back! On second thought, I hate TV. Bye! <laughs> <laughs> we did put all the animals back in the correct pens, right? No, well, I'm positive. I put all those sheep in the sheep pen. This has got to be a perfect shot. Ooh, can I pull the lever, Dad? You bet, son. <laughs> Let's return those weenies! Good. Now just loop the needle back through and pull. Cool! We know how to sew! And in the news, Pork Belly can rest easy once again. Since stolen items all over the city have been returned, and the alien robot has not been seen, and is probably on his way back to his home planet. Well, it looks like our family will not be arrested and or separated by protective services. And it also looks like we had the best family night ever! We sure did. But we're still in trouble for all this, right? Oh, oh big, big time. time. Okay, so what do we do with him? And we still have to return a bunch of cookies to Mrs. Majikowski. Actually, I have a better idea. Thank you for a wonderful dinner, Mrs. Majikowski. And thank you for my wonderful housework, buddy. Clean up time! <laughs> <gasps> He's making life a lot easier around here. And now, dessert time! <gasps> uh, is that a sausage? Oh, yes, he just loves them. But I don't know where he gets them from. Say what? Now, let us enjoy dessert in my new living room. Oh, no. Huh? Okay, who's up for another family night? Mow the lawn. You're a big boy now, Johnny, and you need to do more chores around the house and less goofing off. <laughs> hey, boy. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Gotcha. Oh, oh I don't think so. Out. Hey! Take out the garbage, Johnny. You're a big boy now, and you need to pull more weight around here. <laughs> hey, boy. Don't I get a helmet or something? You're a big boy now, Johnny. And besides, once we cross your DNA with the subatomic qualities of these Super Balls, your head should be rubber and you won't need a helmet. Um, what do you mean by should be? I feel fine. What now? Ow! Oh, 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 God! You say ow a lot. Ow! Ow! Oh! and the right will never agree based on fundamental ideology and, quite frankly, egocentricity. What are you guys talking about? Politics, and you're too young to understand. Now eat your Brussels sprouts so you'll grow to be a big boy. Well, which is it? Am I a big boy or too small? I can't be both! Well, sure you can. You're a big boy when it comes to chores like clearing the table, but too small for things like... Cow Movie 4! What? I hear that's hilarious! It is! 
is. But it's PG-13, and you're 11, which means you're also a too small big boy to watch. But PG-13 means I can watch it with your approval. But we don't approve. Happy cleaning, sweetheart. <laughs> Mind if I finish these? <laughs> I'm too small for this, but I'm a big boy for that. Well, I'm tired. Tired of the chores. Tired of being a guinea pig. And tired of not being able to watch movies with bad words like Cow Movie 4. I'm running away. I'll take this to go. You can't run away. Oh, yes, I can. And you're coming with me. What? No way, Johnny. I don't want to run away. I like my dog bed and a roof over my head. Plus free table scraps. You know that's Dad's meatloaf, right? Give me a minute to pack my bag. <laughs> I'll show them who's a big boy. Freedom, here we come! <laughs> uh oh, I'm cramping up. I gotta stop. Take a break. Yeah, right. And who says we have to run away from home? Why not walk or stroll away from home? Are huh? you with me? Actually, there's nothing saying we can't take a bus away from home. I'm a kid with a rare hair disorder. Where to? Just take us to the end of the line so we can start our new lives. End of the line. Unbelievable. We could get our bikes and bike away from home. Here we are, Start Over City. The land of opportunity and no parents bossing me around. I can almost taste the wonderful adventures we'll have. Just me and you, buddy, and nobody can stop us. Why do we have to work the beat again? Oh, I don't know. Maybe because you blew up a small Malaysian island? How was I supposed to know what the red button was for? Let's just get through this assignment. It's one night. Oh, I'm bored. Uh, check it out. The suitcases locked together to make a rolling thing. I was thinking running away would be a little more exciting. Huh? Yeah, it's the cops. Quick, run! Why are we running? I'll explain later. Just keep running, dog. Is that Johnny and Dookie? What are they doing out by themselves? Let's check it out. Pop on the backpack card if you want to live. <laughs> What are they doing now? Ah! Oh! Mom and Dad must have panicked when they discovered I was gone. So they called the cops, begging them to find their little boy. Drag your right foot now! This is kind of fun. Ah! Oh, great. Now the cops are after us. But this also means that Mom and Dad feel badly for how they treated me and are crying right now and hoping for my safe return. This won't hurt a bit. I'm hungry. Well then, I guess it's dinner time. And I packed a ton of junk food in the backpacks and squirrels! I told you running away was a bad idea. No, you didn't. I didn't? Well, it is. It is a bad idea. Cause we have nothing to eat! Hey, I'm a big boy now, remember? I can figure this out. And I watch survival shows on TV. Crickets? I'm not eating crickets. Just eat them, you big baby. And you don't even want to know where I got the water. Trust me. Yeah. Cheese it! It's the fuzz! Scram out of here, Jack! Why do we sound like a bad 70s cop show? No idea! <laughs> does not sound pleasant. Okay, let's go back home. No, it's too late. Mom and Dad are way past worrying and are super mad at me. Right now, they are waiting at the door for me to come crawling home so they can ground me for making them worry so much. But the burritos give me my powers. <laughs> Oh! <gasps>
Oh, great, it's raining. Now what are we gonna do, Mr. Survivalist? Look, a barn. Perfect. We're gonna sleep in the barn for the night like in the movies. There's no light. Duh, it's a barn. Ooh, I found a squishy bench. Hey, so did I. Oh, these aren't squishy benches, are they? Black and Mr. White! Okay, we want answers. Why did you resist a police officer? Why are you police officers? I blew up Malaysia. Why did you run away from us? Are you in trouble? I ran away from home. Actually, he got tired, so we decided to bus away from home, and that failed, and finally we biked away from home. Why? Because Mom and Dad say I'm a big boy now, so I have a ton of chores to do, but I'm still too small to watch Cow Movie 4. So tell me, am I a big boy, or am I too small, huh? Which is it, man? Cow Movie 4, that movie was hilarious. It's tough being a big boy, but still too small for cool stuff, huh? Yeah? You know, I skateboarded away from home at your age for the exact same reason. I scooted away from home. But still, your parents are probably worried about you, Johnny. I bet they're crying right now, begging for their little boy with flaming hair to return. <laughs> was gone all night? Actually, you've only been gone for about 45 minutes. So, do you guys have to arrest me or something? No, Johnny. One, because we actually had fun all night chasing you, and two, you may be a big boy who has to do chores, but you're still too little for us to arrest you. So you're free to go home. <laughs> that movie is super funny. <laughs> well, I'll never know. Now, if you'll excuse me, I've got dishes to wash. Johnny, do you have a way to get back into the house undetected? Tons. Why? Good evening, folks. We're looking for a young blonde kid and his dog who ran away from home. A boy ran away from home? Uh, we have a son, but he's cleaning the kitchen right now. Mother? Father? What's going on? Well, it looks like you're one of the lucky ones. We see it all the time. The kid is told he's a big boy now and has to do big boy stuff like chores, then told he's too small to do other stuff. Like watch funny PG-13 movies with bad words in them. Oh. Why? Why do they have to run or bike away from home? Don't make the same mistakes other parents have made. Don't let your flame-headed boy end up on the street and work for minimum wages all life! Remember, he's still a small little tyke. And let him watch movies like Cow Movie 4. Well, <clears throat> sorry to bother you. Now you sit right there and relax. And we'll make popcorn. And I'll put on Cow Movie 4. If you're big enough to mow the lawn, Johnny, you're big enough to hear bad words and cow poots. But you're still our little boy, so let us finish up the cleaning. Thank you, family. Come on, work, you rotten thing! <sighs> Curse you, head trimmer! <laughs> oh, I can't believe it! <laughs> 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 ah! oh! Why is being bad so much fun? It's one of life's great mysteries. Hey, Johnny, you want to see something really cool? Is it meat? Cooler. Is it something dead? Nope. Cooler. Did you cross a cat and a raccoon and make a catcoon? Cooler! Ah! Just show me what it is. Ta-da! A black spot. Observe. You take an ordinary tennis ball and... Cool. Not catcoon cool, mind you, but cool. Oh, yeah? Check this out. We made a black hole with a fully compact and portable event horizon.
horizon. Well, I have no idea what that means, but where did the balls go? We don't know. Wanna go in and find out? Are you two insane? What kind of sisters would throw their brother into a portable black hole? How will I get back? We're gonna tie a rope to you. A rope? You make a mini black hole and a rope is your exit strategy? No way! Johnny is not doing this! Okay, let's do this! Get of my Johnny! <laughs> hey, will you hold this for a second? Oh, sure. <laughs> this might be cosmic payback for teasing Dad. <laughs> it just took us through the wall. Are you serious? I gotta say, the black spot, worst thing I ever tested for you guys. No, 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 no. Cheese pants was the worst, but this is a close second. Five months of research for a doorway. If I were you, I'd just throw it out. I mean, I hate to see you guys frustrated, so flick that puppy in the hazmat container, roll it to the curb, and be done with it. You're right, Johnny. Thanks. I'm just looking out for you guys. Oh, what are we gonna do with it? Not be bored, that's what. Hey, test! Give us the black frisbee now! We don't want to play with it. We just want to steal something from you to make you feel bad. Well, at least he's honest. Give it to me or I'll pound you to chow now. Look, something in the air to distract you, dorks. Where? Where? Run. Get him! <laughs> Run? I hope there's more to this plan. <laughs> yeah. Run to that big stone wall. Jump through the spot. <laughs> <laughs> Is awesome. Now let's see what else this little spot can do. Chow now didn't sound that bad. I actually speak Chow Nowish fluently. <laughs> <laughs> wow, so this is Chow Now. It's very Chow Nowish. <laughs> uh, what are they saying? Because it does not sound friendly. <laughs> Um, you are in a restricted military area. We have ordered soup. No, wait, shoot. We're ordered to shoot. What? Oh, yeah, look at that. Oh. Jump! <laughs> Pull up the spot. Pull up the spot! Okay, we're safe. No Red Army anywhere. We're safe now. What happens if we have uh, two spots? Oh, that is so cool. Huh. According to these calculations, we really should retrieve the black hole. Why? If there's a tear on the event horizon, say in the garbage can, it could collapse in on itself and in turn collapse the Earth into it. Okay, that's bad. Let's go get it, demagnetize it, and neutralize it. Talking box, cool. Help me, Bumper. I am just ahead. I can't find the rest of my body. <laughs> <laughs> you don't have a top hat, do you? Huh? huh? Your brother, his head was in a box. <laughs> I'm guessing Johnny's that way. As you can see, ladies and gentlemen, there is nothing in the hat. But when I reach inside... Presto! And now... Presto again! What? A rock? Dude, they want animals. Big ones. Don't leave me hanging. And presto again! Oh. Oh. Yeah. Huh? The pre pres he wants big? He'll get big! Uh. <laughs> Voila! Yes! Johnny! Oh, no. You stole the black 
Pole? This stole that you speak of is just such a strong word. I prefer retrieved it from the garbage. Fine. Just please tell us it didn't tear. Why? Uh, not that it did or anything, but for curiosity's sake. Why? If it does, the rip in the event horizon could collapse on itself and suck in the Earth with it. Uh, you mean like that? It's not magic! It's evil! <laughs> yep, we're doomed. You mean you can't stop it? The only way to demagnetize a hyper black hole now is with a super magnet. But the only super magnets in the world are in the U.S. base in Alaska and Chow Now! Did you say Chow Now? <laughs> Please tell me those people are running because there's a two-for-one sale somewhere. The Earth is getting sucked into the other black hole. Oh, great. Great idea. A black hole. Why don't you just cut off my... Jump, dog! <laughs> Please tell me that's a giant space magnet. It is. Wow, that was convenient. If we can get to the Central Command Center, we might be able to operate the super magnet remotely and return the Earth to normal. Somehow I don't think that's going to be easy. How do we get in? Duh. Don't run. Just act natural. Hola, Che. Sup? How you doing? All right. Good to see you. Hey. Are you lie? Okay. No run. That says control room. Um, perhaps it said janitor's closet. <laughs> well, the Black Spa does have some fantastic military applications. Yeah, I don't want to give the military any more bright ideas. This is it! This says giant magnet thing! Really? It says thing? <laughs> no, wait! That says nuke Canada! This one says magnet. This one! We have got to fix his language program when we get home. Just work the thing! I just pull this lever to set off a cosmic magnetic blast and... Huh? Pointy Chow! Okay. Again. We're doomed. Dookie, say something to them in Chow now that tells them we're trying to save the Earth! Um, uh, Ningho Yuneng Mung Tai. Um, perhaps I didn't say that right. What just happened? Who cares? Pull it! Again, portable black hole? Bad idea! What can we say? You're right. And that's why we're going home right now to destroy it. Good idea. I don't always agree with you big sisters, but here I most certainly do. You tore a piece off, didn't you? Just to use for emergencies. What kind of emergencies? I said, give me your lunch money. <laughs> Ghostly atomic wedgie! What does he want this time? He wants me to shower! Oh, get under the couch. Where is he, boy? I know your part pointer. Now, where is he? Hi! Thanks, buddy. Not so fast, Johnny-son. But we're inside, Dad. 
inside your dry house. And we both know you don't have the guts to wash me in here. <laughs> <laughs> Johnny's marshmallow shooter? Yes, but it's filled with Brussels sprouts. Johnny refuses to eat his vegetables, but he's gonna now. Honestly, the two of you. It's sad, I know. Now, I wait for Johnny to get a high score and... <laughs> Did you clean your room, Johnny? I had a long day. I need playtime. I'm gonna kick the door down. I wouldn't do that. Hey, I warned him. It's like this every day in this house. Who ties up their kid? I asked you 50 times to brush and you did it. Now spit. I told you I had a long day and I wanted to play some more. You had an easy day. I had a hard day. I wish my day was like yours. I woke up this morning and dragged you out of bed, made everyone breakfast, made lunch, did the grocery shopping, washed everyone's clothes, ran countless errands for your mother. Try being married to her, by the way. Then I made dinner. Is this story going to take long? Almost done. I cleaned up dinner, tied you to the homework pole, then tied you to the toothbrush pole, and now I'm going to have to fight you to go to bed. And then I will go to bed, so I wake up and do it all again tomorrow! I'm just saying, you wouldn't last a day in my shoes. You couldn't last an hour in mine! We can arrange that. Maybe this isn't a good idea. I mean, switching brains with Johnny seems dangerous and <laughs> maybe twisted. Ha! I told you you couldn't be me. This is my day. Hooked up to stuff like this, and I take it like a man. And I'll take it like an 11-year-old ungrateful son who doesn't appreciate all the things I do for him, so start the test! <laughs> this is gonna be awesome! You are both grounded for a too painful procedure, and oh, I'm Johnny now. And I'm Dad now, and I say they are not grounded, and you go to bed. No way! And time out! Not a word of this to your mother. She'll flip. Right, got it. Deal. Secret is safe. Have a good day, my wonderful son. I made you the lunch you think I love, but makes me vomit. You're the best dad in the world. Um, I'm confused. Uh, who am I supposed to hang with? Me, of course, because we get to goof off all day long. Okay, honey. Here's your list. The toilet upstairs is clogged. The floodlight in the back of the house is out. I think there's a raccoon living in the dishwasher. And Johnny's supposed to make cupcakes for a bake sale at school tomorrow. So bake them and make sure they are amazing. Bad cupcakes is a sign of a bad family. Huh? Mm. <laughs> Test? You want to play Johnny Ball? Games on the bus? How easy is that? Hey, you talk funny today. I have a cold. And yes, I'd love to participate in your bus game. How do you play Johnny Ball? Easy! You're the ball, and we knock you around. <laughs> <laughs> Say we do an at-home study today and watch the fun. Already emailed the university. Susan Tess, what do you think of my horse-drawn love carriage? And what do you think of my riding crop? I will return for you. Nothing to it, right? If Dad can unclog a toilet, so can we. Uh, you mean you? Okay, let's do this. Oh. Being stuffed in my own locker by bumper is still better than toilet plunging. Now it's off to the pressureless classroom. You're late, Tess! Huh? That's detention for two days! Oh, no homework! That's another two days! Now spell the word Hocaspis! What? Oh, uh, uh, H O K A. Wrong! <laughs> <laughs> Who wants to play more Johnny Ball? <laughs> right now, Dad probably failed the spelling test and played Johnny Ball. And all I have to do is change a light bulb. How hard is that? Actually... We should get this on video. Susan Test, I'm falling in love for you! You get it? Falling? Love? And I have a giant fan! 
Fan! Get it? Giant fan! <laughs> oh, I hate Johnny Ball, but I love lunch break. Ooh, a meatloaf sandwich. <laughs> Thanks for the lunch, funny-talking test. Uh, you didn't eat the Brussels sprouts. I hate Brussels sprouts! But I love magic. Now watch, everyone, as I make Johnny test and disappear! Ah! Uh, those cupcakes smell like turd. They're not cooked yet! Um, do you even know how to use an oven? Yes! I mean, no! Uh, it's like fireworks. School. Hard. Day. Long. Must hide from bullies. <laughs> okay, that's it. You are nothing but a punk who spends more time picking on kids than doing schoolwork. You clearly lack any self-confidence and or knowledge to function normally in society. And frankly, you smell and need a bath. And you should eat your Brussels sprouts, because if you ate better, you wouldn't be so maladjusted! <laughs> oh, and I've made you mad, haven't I? Okay, I think I got this cooking thing down. I'm telling you, this is better than the 4th of July. I can't take it. Dad wins! I just want my horrible childhood back. <laughs> and I want my awful life back! I'm so sorry, Dad. And I love you, man. I love you too, son. Oh, and Bumper's coming here to kick your butt. I mean my butt. I mean help! Bumper is coming here? Well then, we better get rid of him. How? Easy! We'll just take all the things we use to destroy each other and use them to destroy Bumper. Test! I am gonna make your feet your ears! Wow, you made him mad. To my room! Open up, Test, or I'll knock this door down! No, I wouldn't do that if I were you. Here I come! Hey, I warned him. I'm still gonna destroy you, Test, because there is nothing you can do to stop me! You leave me, uh, I mean, uh, my son alone. Are those Brussels sprouts? Boiled. No butter, no salt. <laughs> I give up taste for the cold. You win! You win! <laughs> you know, Dad, I have a new respect for your cooking. And I promise to brush my teeth every night. And I promise to give you more free time knowing how hard and dangerous elementary school can be. Oh, and I'm getting you karate lessons. In some ways, I guess this really was a great day. Oh. And now, it's about to get worse. Why is the house smoking with burnt cupcakes all over the lawn? And why did I get a call from the principal saying Johnny cut skull? Yep. We're dead. Huh? Uh, uh, I mean, I have a cult. Somebody tell me what's going on. We switched places to prove who had the tougher life, and they're both pretty tough. And frankly, Mom, you take advantage of Dad. You switch their bodies? No, we switch their brains. Oh! We'll switch them back! <laughs> I'm back to normal! But I'm still mad at all of you. I work hard all day and all week, and I don't have time to come home to a destroyed house, and now I have to make the cupcakes! Come on, Mom. You work in finance. You had numbers all week. How hard can that be? Well, I know it's harder than being a spoiled teenager who tinkers in a lab all day. Where have I seen this before? I love you, Mom, but you couldn't last a day in my shoes. <laughs> you couldn't last an hour in mine. I can arrange that. <laughs> Get away, Eugene. I'm not into you. But I love you, Susan Test, who clearly has a cold. Okay, Mom's keeping ahead of Eugene pretty good. I wonder how Susan's baking's going. Yeah! <laughs> ha! It really is like the 4th of July. <laughs> I don't want to play steeplechase. Don't be such a dog. Now jump! No! I'm not a horse. Who cares? That was awesome!
Um, regardless, Jonathan, I am a dog who needs to do dog things. Oh, will you just come out and say what's really on your mind? Well, they just opened a new dog park in the snooty part of town. All grass, no dirt, and newly planted trees! Oh, you know I hate snooty dog park people. They're all like, what kind of dog do you have? My dog is hyperallergenic. His name means rigorous in Dutch and blah, 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 blah. I let you ride me like a horse! <laughs> <laughs> okay, great. You let it rip on a tree. Can we go now? Are you kidding? I, I, I haven't even sniffed all the new butts yet. <laughs> so, which dog is yours? Do you really care, pal? Do you? Because let's be honest. What you really want to do is talk about your dog. But I don't want to talk about your dog because I don't care about your dog. Or how he's got air, not fur. Or what his name means in Dutch. Or blah, 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 blah. <laughs> okay, that might have been a little harsh. Yo, Poodle, I'm Dookie. <laughs> Who wants to sniff my butt? Okay, maybe later then. <laughs> oh, me? No, I don't think I have Rottweiler in me, but I've got a wee bit of the Irish setter. <laughs> Hi, I'm Dookie. <laughs> You're Shih Tzu's, right? I love that name. <laughs> Excuse me, is that loser dog yours? Loser dog? He's not a loser. This is the best dog in the world. Really? Has he, she, or it won prestigious dog shows like ours? What's a dog show? <laughs> we have to kick you out of our park now. <laughs> they literally kicked us out. They kicked us out, too. Hi, I'm Jimmy, and they said my snod grass was too ugly. They said pumpkin smells like toilet water, which she does, because mm -hmm. she really loves toilet water. Well, they laughed at my dog, or maybe it was our ascot. Anyway, it's not fair. Well, it's nice meeting all of you, and they have not heard the last of me. To the lab! Did that dog just talk? No, you guys must have hit your heads on the fall. Bad. Right. Size 42. Yep, those are some big feet. We need to know what a dog show is and where Dookie can win one. A dog show is a competition that judges dogs based on pureness of breed and pedigree. Why do you want to win a dog show? Dookie is the most amazing dog in the world. Just tell us where a dog show is so we can win it and show those snooty dorks and dogs that I rock. Plus, those blue ribbons are shiny. Good news. The Porkminster Dog Show is in town. Sign up, Czar. Now. Well, that was convenient. To the dog show! Uh, is that Bigfoot? We're running some tests. Cool. cool. Hello, I am Jonathan Test. I'd like to sign up my canine for the show. What kind of dog is he? Oh, he's an awesome dog. Yes, but what breed is he? Oh, is that really important? What kind of dog do you have, sir? He's a dookie. Oh, oh, ew! It's the loser kid and mutt from the park! We only accept pure breeds here. Kick him out! <laughs> Ow! That really hurt! They kicked us out, too, but my dog is fabulous, just like their dog. Well, they're gonna let Dookie in, cause nobody kicks around Johnny Test! <laughs> we thought Bigfoot had a beatbox. But he stinks, he's Bigfoot! Make him do something with his feet! Yeah, you're right. What's this? It's a homemade coupon, good for three free experiments on Johnny. What's the catch? I need you to hack into the dog show registry and sign up Dookie. Then give us something to sneak into the Coliseum with so we can show the world that Dookie runs! Okay, you're signed up, and just aim this at any security guard. You'll get in no problem. Hey, what's going on? Nice to see you. We're gonna win the dog show. Please welcome Chihuahua 132. And here is Rottweiler 28. And now welcome the Dookie. Will somebody, somebody kick, kick them out? out? I'm really getting tired of this! We dressed our dogs up like pure breeds, but we still got kicked out! Oh, yeah? 
Well, if it's a purebred dog they want, then a purebred dog they will get. Back to the lab! Okay, that dog talked again. Nope, again, you guys must have hit your heads on the landing. He is really good with his feet. Turn me into a purebred dog now! Then I can, I can, I can win a blue ribbon and laugh at those snooty dog people in the face! <laughs> I've never seen him like this. <laughs> Hook me up! Bring in the tests! What's in it for us? Gil's sock. I told him I needed it for a school art project. Deal. But re-scrambling Dookie's DNA could result in a loss of his voice box and short-term memory. And he'll take on the distinguishing characteristics of whatever pure breed he becomes. I don't care! Doggy wants shiny ribbon, so pure breed me, baby! How about something big? Perhaps a nice Rottweiler. Why not? Cool! Dookie's a Rottweiler! Why did Dookie attack? He's sort of not Dookie. He's a purebred, which tend to be genetically deficient and insane. Then make him a softer breed. <laughs> cool, he's a boxer. I love boxers. Hey, high five, buddy. Next! Uh, why is he all wrinkly? He's a Sharpay. What the heck is a Sharpay? A Chinese fighting dog. Oh, I don't like the sound of that. <laughs> Just make him a poodle. Okay, I was way off on the poodle thing. Come on, what dog will blow away those judges? I'm talking super cute and lovable and won't beat me up and won't dance like that. Well, nothing beats a beagle puppy. Is... Is that your dog? Yep, I just had to give him a bath. And that's what he looks like. An amazing purebred beagle who is gonna kick your snooty purebred butts. Well, you still can't beat us. Watch me. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome super cute beagle puppy number one. Oh! It's Johnny, and the people are loving his puppy. <laughs> I don't think anything can stop this super cute dog from winning. I just realized something. What? Well, Dookie's a puppy, so that means he's not housebroken, right? Oh, this is bad. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Pillows. Really smart, Johnny. I'll be right back. Did we win? Show me the trophy! You got kicked out. Oh, I'll never win a dog show, Blue Ribbon. But it's not important. Dookie, you're an amazing dog, and you'll always be our Blue Ribbon champion. I don't want your Blue Ribbon. Huh. I thought that was a really sweet ending to this story. I just thought I could win a trophy for all the dogs I couldn't get in that dog show. A victory for the wonderful and loyal dogs who all go by the name Mutt. Okay, that's a great story, but it's not like we can kick everyone out of the Coliseum and take it over, right? Right. Right. Wait a minute. I have an idea. <laughs> Gentlemen, welcome to the Johnny Minster Dog Show. And here's Jimmy. And his ugly dog you should all clap for, or I'll have Bigfoot kick you out too. And here's Ascot Dude and his matching Ascot Dog. Give it up for Pumpkin, who loves to drink out of the toilet. And now, let's hear it for the best dog in the world. <laughs> Go, Dookie. <laughs> woo, woo. Now that's how you end the story. I did was 
put hot sauce in his milk. He tished! I'm not done with you! It was a lot of hot sauce. Stand back, Johnny, and I'll scare him with my super doggy growl. Ah. <gasps> it didn't work. Yeah, so hop on and I'll ditch him with my super chicken run! <laughs> I'll see you tomorrow, Tish! I need muscles. Big muscles. Muscles that I won't have to use because they'll be so big, Bumper will be afraid of me just by looking at me. Like this. Or this. Or this. Where's the dog? Chasing cats. Now help a brother out, man! You're in luck, Johnny, because we have just invented the Mega Muscle Metabolism Accelerator. It speeds up the body's metabolism and turns ordinary body fat into whopping muscle. Great! Then zap me up, baby. Bring on the zap it zap it zap Uh, it's not a zapper. Actually, it's a clear flavorless liquid. Big muscles, here I come! Wait! There's a lot of breakable stuff in here. Let's go outside. Not that anything can go wrong, of course. <laughs> Ooh, okay, now that's what I call a workout. I'll take that, doggy thirsty. No, 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 don't do it, wait, don't do it! Um, what? <laughs> We have no idea. But look on the bright side. You didn't drink it. <laughs> Looks like we got some pets off their leashes. <laughs> and you just got caught by animal control. Man, I rock. <laughs> Why, you're up your leash too, big fella. <laughs> Quick, we have to get Dookie inside before he comes back with an army. Drink dot blaster, extra large titanium mesh catching net, and one super cool bandana. <laughs> get ready, monster dog, cause I'm the dog catcher. He's really heavy. <laughs> Just keep pushing before! He's gonna try and take Dookie! Um, take me where? Hey, you're back! Did I go somewhere? You accidentally drank some muscle juice and turned into a giant hulking monster dog! Oh, what? Where is he? Where is the giant hairy monster dog? Huh? Oh, that big hairy thing? Yeah, we don't know anything. It's just us and our nice not-monster dog, who's on a leash and very well-trained. Watch! Sit, boy! Roll over! Make tea! Ooh, lemon zipper. Nice. Okay, back to work! And I will not rest until I catch that monster dog! Manny Snag Max and Clancy. Don't care about the cats, though. To the lab, dog! It's worse than we feared. The Dookie Jekyll metamorphosis increases every time he changes. Wait, what does that mean? It means each time Dookie changes, he will get bigger and possibly more violent and dangerous. Oh, and he'll need more iron to supplement his diet. A lot of iron. And the bad news is... The bad news? If he stays too long in the big scary state, he'll stay a monster dog forever. That would be terrible! Or would it? Yeah, Monster Dog is a bad idea. So how do we fix him? Already done. We had an antidote prepared all along. Well, let's have it! Now remember, you have to relax. Any excitability or fear could trigger the muscular metamorphosis. Got it. Stay calm. No problemo. Okay, here we go! <laughs> Hates needles. Here, monster dog. Here, boy. Be quiet back there. You'll get your due once I get the monster dog with no leash. <laughs> 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 
Don't move, or it might suck out our brains! Freeze, monster dog! Man, I'm a lousy shot! Hey, get back here! Uh huh? Don't ask, just sit! Where is he? Where is the monster dog? I can smell the danger. I really can, too. How do you know he's a monster, huh, Jack? I mean, maybe he's really ugly, but really nice, too. Maybe he's just afraid of you because you're chasing him around. Yeah! How would you feel if you got chased around by somebody with a giant net? You're not on a leash. Maybe you should catch yourself. Yeah! Put yourself in all the fuzzy animals' shoes. Or paws. But I ain't in their shoe paws. I'm a man in boots. And these babies won't stop stomping until I find me that monster dog, lock him up, and sell my story to the supermarket tabloids. Oh, well, in that case, I saw the monster dog running that way. <laughs> Quick, give Dookie the antidote without the needle this time. How about a painless nasal mister? I love it. Now give it. Yeah, it's in my eye! It burns! Don't worry. I brought your Trank Dart Blaster as a backup. Hmm? Man, I'm a lousy shot. And you're starting to get bigger. And nastier. And you're starting to crave iron, aren't you? A hairy monster dog showed up at the base and ate a one billion dollar iron tank. You wouldn't happen to know anything about that, would you? Oh, so every time something goes wrong in this town, you think we did it? Is that it? Huh? It's Dookie, isn't it? Yeah, it's Dookie. But you'll never get him before we do. Sorry, Johnny, but we have to. And we have to salvage what we can from the tank and the secrets he ate. We'll have to operate. It won't be pretty. But the cool new truck we have to catch him is pretty. Great, now the dog catcher and the military are after my dog. Actually, it's worse. If we don't get the antidote in Dookie in the next five minutes, he'll stay a monster dog forever. Again, to the lab! Okay, do something. What? We thought you had a plan. You're the geniuses! But we've done everything. Dookie didn't take the needle and wouldn't sit still for the nasal spray. Then we'll just shoot the antidote in him. Uh, how did you change so quickly? Just find Dookie and I'll take care of the rest. Found him. He's right there. And he's lost his mind! And Johnny's in an iron battle suit. Did you say iron battle suit? I'll save you, Johnny! Man, I'm a lousy shot. Dookie, don't! It's me, Johnny! And I'm not tasty! Quick! Put on some soft and sweet flashback music! You're my best friend! Johnny! <laughs> now he's remembering how we're the ones that did this to him! <laughs> hey, guys! My butt hurts. Well, this story is wrapping up quite nicely. But it's not over, because Black and White are still looking for Dookie. No, they're looking for a monster dog. So we'll just give them a monster dog. You don't have an old fake fur coat, do you? And you think this will help me catch the monster dog? Think about it. Dogs travel in packs. So why wouldn't monster dogs? Exactly what I was thinking. Just make loud, scary noises to attract him. Where ahead of you? Now check out my roar. Rawr! Rawr, rawr, rawr! Stop right there, monster dog. No, I'm not really a monster dog. See? I'm the dog catcher. It's tell him, kids. He's a monster dog. Correction. Stop right there, talking lion, monster dog. Well, we catch you with our big nets. Okay. Now I see where this story's going now. Did you?
you ever notice that Susan and Mary have more trophies than me? What, me? No, what trophy case? Tell the truth. Yeah, I noticed. It's a bit pathetic, but hey, you won a trophy! No, we didn't. We won it. And we ran out of room in our trophy case. So we need to use Johnny's. Hey, that's not fair. Dad built that trophy cabinet for me. Then try winning a trophy for once in your life, little brother. Whoa, that is harsh even for you. You have to want it, Johnny. You have to want winning more than anything. You just might not have the killer instinct like we do. Yeah, well, you know what? I do. I do have the killer thing, and I will win a trophy. So ha! Ha ha ha! Ha 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 ha! Doggy, help Johnny win trophy to prove Johnny not a loser. Johnny, not winning trophies doesn't make you a loser. Of course, it doesn't make you a winner either, but you are not a loser. Then what am I? Well, it's true you haven't won anything, but you have to enter a contest to win or lose, and you never enter contests, so basically you're... nothing. Did that help? No. And I'm gonna put something in that trophy case if it's the last thing I do! Oopsie, I stormed off too quickly. So how do I win a trophy? Oh, there's a junior golf tournament this weekend and they give out huge trophies. Are you any good at golf? Let's get Dad's clubs and find out! I'm not good at golf. Well, $200 should take care of that window in your future emergency room visit, right? <laughs> no more golf! Why? Because I do not have a million dollars to pay for your troublemaking! Okay, what's Johnny win a trophy plan B? The Junior Rodeo Championships are in town this week. Are you sure you can ride a bull? That's why we're practicing. Uh, right. Now, where did you get the bull? Is it really important? Now open that gate and let's ride! <laughs> is having a really bad day. And here's 600 more dollars to cover your insurance deductible. Johnny, look in my wallet and tell me, do you see a million dollars? Uh, nope. Then no more bull riding! Wait, why are you bull riding? I'm trying to win a trophy. I can't take Susan and Mary winning all the time. Johnny need big shiny thing in cabinet. Son, you don't need a trophy to prove you're a winner. I mean, I never won a trophy, and look at me! You're gonna win a trophy by watching TV? No, I'm gonna find out how to win a trophy by watching TV. You know how sometimes we'll be in the middle of something and that dude on the TV will give us an idea? Johnny, that is ridiculous. So you wanna win a huge trophy? Hmm? And now I stand corrected. Hank Anchorman here with eccentric billionaire Branson Ridgeway, who is kicking off the Pork Belly River Jump Cup. I've placed a huge trophy and an oversized check for one million dollars on the other side of the Pork Belly River. All you have to do to get it is jump the river in an unmotorized tricycle. That sounds cool. No, it doesn't. It's my goal to expand the possibility of a fuelless future. Because if mankind can jump a large river on a tricycle, there's nothing we can't do. You seriously believe that? I believe that it's the job of an eccentric billionaire to eccentrically push Eccentricity. What does eccentric mean? Rich, weird, and cuckoo, and you are not jumping the Park Belly River on a tricycle. No way! Johnny, do you want to test a super air-compressed super trike? No way. I'll test your super trike, and then you'll use it to jump the river and get that big, fat trophy. Well, you can forget it. I'm getting that trophy. I'm jumping the river. Who's got the killer instinct now? Just so you know, I will not help an 11-year-old boy crash into a river. And just so you know, blah, 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 I'm Jump in the river! Pedal? Seriously, you're gonna pedal over the river? No, I'm gonna pedal over the pool to test my speed and trajectory. I will win that trophy. It's just a trophy. It's not even real gold. Say hello to the Air Cannon Supersonic Super Trike. Or, as I like to call it, the trophy winner. That is so lame. Okay, who am I kidding? That is awesome! Every student at the university has entered the Pork Belly River Jump Cup. But we are going to win it. Now, check out the sound of 8,000 pounds of air pressure blasting me on a test run. She's really going to ride it? You're not the only crazy test driver around here, Johnny. Here we go! <laughs> ah! 
I'm sure this will cover the damage for the truck. Who needs to retire at 65 anymore, right? What did I say before? Oh, yeah, I do not have a million dollars. You are all grounded. But Dad! No butts in your rooms now! But if we jump the Pork Belly River on a trike, I'll win a big, shiny trophy and one million dollars. Yeah, I don't care! Wait, did you say a million dollars? Individually, we can't make that jump. But with the girl's invention, Johnny's reckless abandon, and my approval, together we can make that jump and win that money. No, I have to win it myself. Johnny, every great champion has a winning team behind them. Nobody does it themselves. They're right. Whether it's a race car championship or the World Series, it's all about teamwork. One million dollars. One million! But I get to keep the big shiny trophy. I get the money. And we get the satisfaction of winning. Let's go to the river! Time out. Let's just take a minute, one minute, Johnny, to think about what's really important and... Johnny wants shiny trophy! It's just metal. What's really important is staying alive! Don't sweat it. It's gonna be a piece of cake. was awesome! Everyone from school is here. That's Emily Smartpuff from Advanced Biochemistry. And that is one trophy you will not get, Susan and Mary Tess. <laughs> okay, now your dad is totally going to put a stop to this. Oh, I can see the big check from here. It is huge! And there's also a huge headwind. We're gonna have to boost the air pressure to 10,000 pounds. We're such geniuses. But not as genius as me, tiny classmates and little bro. Cha. Tim Burnout? Don't even think about it, Jack. That trophy is mine. <laughs> this trophy will not be yours, but mine. Thanks to my totally awesome sonic trike. What? <laughs> It's the best one yet! You're really just a rich nut who likes to watch people crash in a river, huh? Uh, <clears throat> no, um, I'm an eccentric who just wants to push human boundaries to show that mankind is boundless. Really? The cameras are off. This isn't on the record. Can't you see that splash? <laughs> Nelly! Next, Next up, up Johnny, Johnny Tap. Okay, what do you say we boost to one million pounds of pressure? Sounds good to me. And remember, Johnny, it doesn't matter how you get over the river. You just have to get over. I'm so proud of you, Million Dollars. I mean, son. I can't let you do this. You mean you can't stop me from doing this? A million dollars? One million? Okay, listen up! You have all lost your minds! Johnny's risking his life for a dumb gold cup that isn't even gold, and his ultra-competitive sisters have clearly become obsessive about winning, which is not part of the scientific method. And you, Dad, you would let your own son jump a river for money! Did Dookie just talk? Because you're so crazy with money and winning, you're seeing dogs talk! Now close your eyes, shake your head, and come to your senses! Close your eyes and shake your head! We're going home, kids. I've just realized in a totally freaky hallucination that this jump and that money is not worth it. So did we. No! Johnny won shiny trophy! And we also realized that all the trophies we've won are all because you tested them, Johnny. So technically, you deserve half of them. Okay, I'm cool. Now, what do you say we go home and move some of those big trophies into your cabinet? I love you all. Mm. And I'll shut down this rocket trike before it explodes. Yeah, we definitely went too heavy on the air pressure. Yeah! He made it! Nice job, buddy. A big, shiny trophy in my cabinet that the whole family can enjoy. Yeah. And thanks for the million dollars, boy. Now Johnny can go to college and Mom and I can retire at 65 again. The only thing I can't figure out is what happened to the Sonic Drake. It should have returned to Earth by now. <gasps> huh? What 
are the odds? Here, this should cover the cost of a new house. <laughs>